cry without all of my inserts. When it comes to couponing, I'm in charge. Get in here. You get in there. Look! Bad one. I don't really think couponing's weird at all. I think Braddock's a little weird. I run my house like it is a business, and my husband and my five kids are my employees. Did I do good? You did, you did okay. Here. Today I'm gonna get $900 worth of stuff, and I'm gonna pay hopefully zero dollars. Oh. He's getting a little ambitious. <laughs> Let's just take the whole display. Yeah. We're just under $800 and getting really nervous now. Going to shelter bridge totally. I thought I was going to die. Yeah. I put these coupons under my pillow before I go to bed because I'm worried that someone might try to mess with them. So, uh, just to be safe, I keep them with me. I'm Broderick, and I am the Coupon Kid. My coupons weigh a total of 64 pounds. I don't really think couponing's weird at all. I think Broderick's a little weird. Getting candy for free is awesome. <laughs> I get a really big adrenaline rush from saving money. This is my stockpile. Everything in here is worth about $4,500, and I've spent just about $100 on all of it. Up here, I actually have 244 boxes of feminine products. I don't think it's very typical behavior for a teenage boy to have so many feminine products in a stockpile, or to have a stockpile at all. Over here, is the food section of the stockpile. My family might not like all of the flavors or types of product I get, but since I have the control over what we get, so they have to deal with it. This entire wall is covered in receipts from my best shopping trips that I've ever done. There's one receipt where I actually made $100. Where is it? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, there it is. The subtotal was 111.64, and after tax, I made 99.23. It was awesome. When it comes to couponing in my family, I am the boss. I usually just match everything up and find the deals, but I like to make my family cut the coupons for me. I'm gonna need you to get out of my coupon chair. Danielle, you need to get out of his coupon chair. Why? He doesn't Does need it all out. the time. Deno, you need Can I to punch her? Oh, you too. Uh, ever since he started couponing, I think he's the golden child with my mom. <laughs> she really likes the fact that he coupons. Since I started couponing, I've been helping my family save money. We are using the money for a patio cover. Broderick would like us to add a pool in our backyard, too. The pool is a big motivation for Broderick. I went ahead and met with the contractor and he gave me an estimate of about $7,000. Um, so I figured out that if we stick to $75 a week or less, we'll have the patio cover and pool in 14 months. What I do need is some razor coupons. So in this last week's insert, will you cut 200 of them, please? Like. Broderick, why don't you ever have to cut them? Um, because we wouldn't find any deals if I were sitting there cutting. It's not fair. Life's not fair. It is kind of fun to get a boss around my older sisters. I don't think my parents really care as long as I'm saving money. It's fine with them. He acts like he owns the house sometimes just because he coupons. I really like having that kind of power. 196, 197, 198. How many did we need? Are you? We need 200, are you sure you counted right? Yes! To make this shopping trip work, we need two more razor coupons, and I need everyone to help me look for them. So we're gonna have to go dumpster diving to get those last two. So are you guys ready to go? Do I have to go? You have to go. Let's go. We 
have to find the two razor coupons, so we're gonna get inside here and actually look for it. Well, I'm a little nervous about dumpster diving. I've never done it before. Get in here. You get in there. Look! Found one! My coupons now and are ready, so let's go. I'm driving. I am very nervous for this shopping trip. Oh. If they maybe mess up or add things to the car Here. or do things they shouldn't, it could really jeopardize our shopping trip. ready for this. I guess. Today I'm gonna do my biggest shopping trip ever. Both my sisters, my mom and my dad are going shopping with me. I'm gonna get $900 worth of stuff and I'm gonna pay hopefully zero dollars. Let's go shopping. Okay, the first thing we're gonna get is milk. We're gonna get two of these. Only two? Getting two things is very extreme. Five. Here. There goes one. <laughs> well, Broderick just dropped an entire bottle of vinegar, and now it's everywhere, and now it stinks like vinegar. He was getting a little ambitious. <laughs> Way to go, <laughs> They shouldn't put glass bottles this high up. Oh my goodness oh gracious. Oh my gosh. Assume you guys see why Broderick coupons are done play basketball. OK, <laughs> next thing, razors. They're right here. Well, we're gonna need 200. These razors retail at $1.55, and I have a coupon for $3 off one. We're gonna get $1.45 overage on each one, and I'm gonna apply that money towards other groceries on my list. Okay, we have a really good deal on soda, so let's go get some of that. We're gonna get six 12 packs, and they're all gonna be completely free. Woo! Okay, um, on to the next item. Oh, we missed it. We missed it. <laughs> this dial. I'm going back up. Can we get some apples? I'm gonna have to do some math here. I remember 63.93. Okay. Many times I have been told that I cannot buy something because it's not on sale or I do not have a coupon for it. So 66.63. Okay, yeah, we should have enough money to get okay. some apples. All right. I like being able to tell them no in some <laughs> things. Okay, let's go. You got there. Hey, who put these pickles in here? Okay, well, lucky for you, we have overage, but I'm only gonna let you guys do this if you get the kind I like, so go put that back. <laughs> You're so bossy. <laughs> If I wouldn't have noticed the pickles, then my total would have been off. It could have messed up my entire shopping trip. Broderick's definitely the boss when it comes to couponing. It's just easier for us to let him be in charge and get what he needs to get. OK, I have everything on my list, and let's check out now. Hi, right. how are you today? Good, ready for checkout? Ready. <laughs> um, it's over $300. Um, we're just under $800, and so we have a couple hundred to go still. I'm getting really nervous now. Your total today is $989.98. Uh, <laughs> no, that's a lot. I'm nervous. <laughs> Tell me about it, Mom. That's a lot of money. <laughs> Yeah. I looked over at my parents and I could really tell that they were nervous because they would have had to pay for everything if I didn't do my shopping trip right. I have a feeling you have some coupons to use today. Um, the total is at um, $735.23. 
I'm nervous. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how this is working out, and so I'm nervous to see how it works out. This is the last stack of coupons. Your total today is $5.23. Yeah. Thank you. Good job, right? This one's on me. <laughs> My shopping trip was great. I was able to get $989.98 worth of stuff down to $5.23. That is a 99.5% savings. We did it. <laughs> I can't believe we just did that. My shopping trip was awesome. Now I'm even closer to getting that pool. It feels really good knowing that I'm able to support my family using coupons. I'm never going to stop couponing, and by this time next year, I hope to be swimming in my pool. First, we're going to take our list of items and find out if there is a coupon available with our inserts. I use flowcharts for practically everything, for cleaning the kitchen and cleaning the bathroom. And I definitely use flowcharts for couponing. Doesn't everybody? I have a special test for you today, and if you can do really, really good at this, you will be able to help mommy clip the coupons, okay? Go ahead, show me your, your cutting skills here. You think you can do this? Yes. Come on, honey, put some, put some back into it. There you go. That's how we get our money, right there. Oh, did you just cut the barcode? You can't cut the barcode. You don't want to mess up mommy's money, right? My name is Pam, and I'm the world's most efficient couponer. My inserts would make me very happy. I would cry without all of my inserts. I'm proud of her, but she is crazy. It's really bad. I mean, she she has a problem with this couponing. I'm no rookie, so I know to look behind the items. I know how we play the game. A lot of weekends when people are playing with the kids, I'm normally at home clipping coupons. She'll never stop unless they stop making coupons. Move it, people, move it. I run my house like it is a business. It's an operation, and I am the president and CEO. My husband and my five kids are my employees. You gotta be able to cut out more than one. She's using child labor for this whole extreme couponing. I am a good clipper, but not that good. Did I do good? You did, you did okay. You did. This is my personal grocery store. It's my pride and joy. It's where all of my winnings and all of my success is housed. She's really obsessed with it. She wants to turn our house into a market. <laughs> I have 205 boxes of toothpaste, 102 bottles of body wash and I have over 400 rolls of toilet paper. The total retail value of all of this is about $7,500, and I paid less than $250 for all of these things. Today, I'm going on the biggest shopping trip ever for my daughter's graduation party, and to plan a big trip like this, I put a lot more time into the preparation so that the outcome is more efficient and smooth. So I am gonna walk you through the process that we are gonna use to prep for our big shopping trip. I use flowcharts for practically everything. I use flowcharts for cleaning the kitchen and for cleaning the bathroom. And I definitely use flowcharts for couponing. Doesn't everybody? First, we're gonna take our list of items and find out if there is a coupon available with our inserts. After we do that, we are going to start stacking those coupons. So we'll go through and match up all the ones that we need for the quantities that we need, okay? I'm confused about my role. Well, your role is to help me go through all of the circulars and find the coupons. See, it says right here, identify the circular that we need. I am the worst employee that works for her. I don't want to follow her flow chart. My husband, he's not really good at following my process flows, so if he becomes insubordinate, I will be forced to fire him. You think you can do a tearing tap? Like, you think you can tear the page out that we need? For the, you think you can, is that too hard? Oh! oh! 
She's definitely bossy and controlling. It's horrible. Why would you do that? You're yelling at me. Well, I wouldn't be yelling at you if you weren't trying to tear the book up. My husband thinks I'm controlling and everything has to be Pam's way. And when you're the boss, it kind of does. Okay. We're ready for our shopping trip. We got a lot of stuff to get today, so we're going to get two carts. And remember, bae, just follow directions. I'm trying to get $400 worth of groceries for under $100. And I brought my aunt to make sure that I'm efficient and I stay on track. I'm just here to do the count on the coupons for her and the products that she's getting. And I'm taking my husband, Darnell, because this is a big trip, and so I need his strong hands to help us carry a lot of these things. But I'm a little bit nervous because he can get impatient and not want to be there and mess it up. As soon as we pulled in the parking lot, I was bored. I was ready to go. I brought my flow chart for all the rookies so that we can know exactly what we need to do. You smell that? That's money, auntie. That's money. Keep it safe. So the first thing we're going to get are the flavored water. Six. Really? All right, so what's next? Shaving cream. What are you, what are you doing? I'm uh, looking at the coupons. Don't do that. I found the savings. I do that. I do the savings. You do the pulling. The pulling. Stick with the pulling. Just clear the shelf, okay? It's empty. All right. Brownies. We are off to the brownie aisle. We need 60 packages of brownies. I'm looking at 15 or 14. That's not going to work. We need to go check and see if they have more in the back for us. This is a critical, critical item. It's not allowing me to enter the rest of the coupons. Go ahead and shut the register totally. I thought I was going to die. I literally thought I was going to die. We are at the grocery store, and I am shopping for my daughter's graduation party. I was planning to get 60 boxes of brownies, and there were only 21 boxes left. We need to go check and see if they have more in the back for us. We're going to have a sweets table, and so if they don't have enough brownies, then that's going to suck. OK. Let's just hope you got the brownies. <laughs> What's wrong? Um, there are only 20 boxes of brownies on the shelf. Okay. Are there possibly any more? I don't know what this is going to do for my daughter's party. So, sucks. I knew my only option was to try to find another product that could kind of boost my savings a little bit. And so we were lucky enough to find a deal on the toothpaste just kind of worked out. Let's just take the whole... Display. Yeah. The retail price of this toothpaste is $3.09. It's on sale for a dollar, and I have a coupon for 50 cents that will double to a dollar. So all of this toothpaste will be absolutely free. <laughs> we'll go from extreme coupon into cops. Yeah. <laughs> so you need to update the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet has to say perfect. Where do we keep the Be Quiet coupon? I believe we are done. Let's do it. Check Alrighty. out. Hi, Lisa. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you doing today? I'm good. You? I got a big order for you today. Good. Um, I just want to watch everything and make sure that everything's happening correctly. Do you want those bagged? No, no. I want the box. <laughs> Your total is 408.34. Do you have any coupons today? Yes, Lisa. I have lots and lots and lots of coupons. There you go. It says I must total sale, and it's not allowing me to enter the rest of the coupons. I'm going to have to call my manager. OK. <laughs> is that cents? I. I'm only on the second stack of coupons, and I have officially broken the register. So um, they are going to call the manufacturer of the register. And there's still a, uh, quite a few more coupons yet to be taken off. It's like it's froze up. 
What can I do? Go ahead and shut the register totally. Okay, Tim, we're trusting you, buddy. We're shutting it off. <laughs> when they unplugged the computer, I thought I was going to die. Oh! oh. Hey. <laughs> So we'll go ahead and put the 349.23, the balance that was due, back on just under grocery and manually in a few months. I'm a little nervous because I think it's higher than it should be right now. Less. Um, total is 84.63, please. My total before coupons was $408.34, and my total after coupons and sales was $84.63 for a 79.3% savings. <laughs> yay! Yay me! <laughs> I'm gonna use this as a streamer at the party. <laughs> Everybody's happy, everybody's loving all the food that we cook. And I don't know who made this pasta salad, but girl, they bang it. Pam really did a good job with the graduation party and I will never forget it. Brandy's really happy and that's that's what matters, so did this all for her.